And so in this lesson, I want to take a look at how to use Microsoft Word to format an essay. And this is a continuation of your first lesson on how to use the MLA style guide. And I just want to take a moment here to format an example essay so you can see what this looks like inside the Word processor and what the final product should look like. So again, you don't really need to take notes everything that you would need to take notes on is inside the MLA style guide at mrbrayman.info. So again, just sit back, watch the process, and you know, get the big picture. So as you know, at mrbrayman.info, you can find the MLA style guide under the MLA documentation section in the English section of the website. And when you click on it, you know, here's what it looks like. You've got your formatting for works cited page entries, citations, and the works cited page itself. And remember, this starts with just a checklist of all the things you need to do, and then there's an example down here. Same thing for the essay, too. In part four, there's an essay formatting checklist. There's all this stuff you have to do, and then there's an example of what it looks like here. And I'll zoom out, title page, first page of the essay, etc. All right, so students often ask me, you know, what does this look like inside the word processor? How do I do that? So we're going to come on over here to Microsoft Word. We got some uh, random Latin words that I've typed in. Actually, I just pulled them from a website that generates this. Okay, but so let's say this is my essay, and I've typed it all. It's single space. I've indented every paragraph. I've also typed my works cited page, right, and so everything is typed in. And I really suggest that you type everything in single space. Use a really basic font. Don't try to do any of the stuff that I'm going to show you until after your essay is completely typed. Right? And so if you did an outline or a rough draft or both, as you should do, right? Steps of the writing process, you know, then really you just you go in and you type from your handwritten rough draft or you type from your outline. And this is what it should look like. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is do some very, very general formatting. Okay, when you follow the checklist, you won't do it quite in these steps, but just follow along and look and see where the, the, all the buttons are in Microsoft Word, right? So I'm going to hit Control A, right? Control A for all, and I'm going to change the font to Times New Roman, and I'm going to change it to 12 point. Okay. Notice too how there are no extra spaces between the paragraphs, right? It doesn't look like this. Sometimes when students do that, they type and they get those extra spaces. We don't want that. Okay. So again, I'm going to go Control A, and I'm going to go up here to this button that controls my line spacing, and I'm going to go to two. Okay. Next thing I want to do is come up here to the page layout tab. Make sure there are no extra spaces before or after a paragraph. If I have that, it'll look like that double spacing between the paragraph. Sometimes this field is blank, and so you actually type in zero point. I also want to make sure my margins are set to normal or one inch. Very often the handouts I give you in class have a half inch margin because I'm trying to save paper, but we want to make sure we're at one inch margins here. Okay. So now I have the whole thing formatted, the, just the general layout on the page. Okay. Now let's do some work on the works cited page itself. And again, when you follow the checklists, you'll go in a different order than what I'm going right now. Um, I just like again, I want to show, I want you to see where all the buttons are. Okay, so here's my works cited page. Now it's a works cited page, which means it needs to be on a separate piece of paper. So I'm going to zoom out here. Okay, and you know, easy way to create a new page: you hold down Control and hit Enter. Make sure this starts right at the top. Okay, good. And notice this is all 12 point times New Roman. It's all double spaced. There are no extra spacing between the paragraphs. Now I'm just going to highlight this. And I'm going to come up here to my ruler. And if your ruler is not on, you can go to View and make sure the ruler is checked. 
going to make sure that ruler is on. And what we're going to do here is grab the bottom triangle. We don't want to grab that bottom square. We want to grab the bottom triangle, move it over five spaces or one half inch. That's what indents each line here. You know, indents the second and third line uh, of each entry. Okay, good. I'm going to zoom out again so you can see what it looks like. Here's my works cited page. Good. Next thing I want to do is put in a title page. Okay, so I'm going to go back and put my cursor right before the first line on the first page. And again, I'm going to hit Control Enter. It's going to give me a whole blank sheet of paper. Oops. All right. Now what I'm going to do is hit enter a few times until I get down to about a third of the way down the page. And this isn't exact, it's kind of eyeball. And I'm going to come back up here to home and I'm going to press the centering button. And then I'm going to put in the title of my essay. Remember, titles for essays need to be original and they need to make the reader want to read your paper, right? So don't be boring. Right? Again, when you students complain we teachers are boring and then you turn around and be boring, we laugh at you. That's what we do at the lunch table. Then I'm going to hit enter a bunch of times so I get down close to the bottom. I'm going to put in my name. Let's say my name is Juan Campos. He's my student for the MLA style guide. Okay, and Then I'm going to put in the title of the course. Let's say Juan is in my English 9 class uh, in period 3A and they're going to put in the name of the teacher. Make sure you spell your teacher's name correctly. It's a sign of respect. Right? Mine, you put an E at the end of my first name, suddenly I become a girl. Please don't do that. And then you put in today's date and today's the 28th uh, 2014. Okay? I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, now I want to make sure this touches the actual bottom of the page. So I usually hit enter and then when I lose a line, I take one off and then boom, I'm done. Okay. And so that's what my title page should look like. The title page, I got a few pages of writing. Wow, I did four and some change. I got a works cited page. Last thing I want to do is headers. Okay, so I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go to insert header. Takes a moment to load this up. Now, all kinds of fancy headers. We don't want fancy headers. Actually, I don't want to use the header function. I want to use the page number function. There it is. You go page number, top of the page, plane number three. Okay, don't use any kind of fancy stuff. I know it looks good, but academic papers, academic papers shouldn't look exciting they should read exciting. Your words should be exciting. Your ideas should be exciting. right? If you're trying to hide boring ideas with fancy stuff on the page, fancy typing and fancy, that's just putting lipstick on a pig. I ain't going to kiss that thing, right? I'm going to do plane number three. Okay. And then what you want to do, and this, you know, students often look for this button. We got to make sure we're in the design tab. It's a green one that's only open when you're inside the header area it comes up make sure that we click the different first page and that'll take this off the first page and keep it on the other one a lot of times students try to delete um, delete the stuff from the first page and then it deletes from every other page and they get frustrated right and so we're going to put in the last name of the author of the page good old Juan right and so that's what it should look like right last name of your last name and then the page number and that'll be on every single page the technology does it for you it's pretty slick we can't do this in Google Drive by the way which is part of why we're doing some papers in Microsoft Word right now I wish Google Drive hello Google I know you're eavesdropping on me right now Google get me some headers All right so there it is I want to make sure too that this is 12 point times New Roman so I'm going to highlight that I'm going to come back oh, See, it's 10. I'm going to pull down to 12. Good. Okay, now I can just double click back into the bottom of my essay and it's all there, except on the first page. So from here, you know, I'm going to print the essay and it's done.
That's um, how to very simply and quickly format the essay. Remember, all your checklists are here inside the MLA style guide at mrbrayman.info, so follow those. It'll be slow at first. Remember, this stuff is not hard. You just have to pay attention to detail. Go slow, do it right. Thanks for watching.